Right. Well, good afternoon, YouTube at Taylorsville Metro Park. We're in this, this is the Schumard Loop off of Bridgewater Road. It's just a beautiful fall day away from all the misery of Dayton, Ohio. Have some peace and quiet in nature. The leaves are not, are starting to get close to peak color, but we still need about three or four more nights of cold weather, but I think by this time next weekend, everything should be at peak color. This loop, even though I did several videos from this park, I don't think I've ever hiked on this, the Schumard loop, before. It's a beautiful area. You can see there's kind of, there needs to be a little bit of maintenance done back here, but... I kind of like it. Yeah, it's a little bit rougher on the walking trail. Yeah, rustic walking trail, but it needs a little bit of trimming, a little bit of maintenance. But this trail, I don't think, is really that used all that much. So that's probably why it probably is not maintained that well because I don't think too many people come back to this trail because I never see. Or if the Dayton hikers ever hike back here, they would just include it as a little add-on to the main trail in the eastern part of the park here. There's plenty of wild edibles out here. That's oh, yeah. Don't see any catnip yet, but, but this area, I don't think there's not enough sunlight to really find it back here but we're gonna see if we can find some little catnip today i know it's in our forests but yeah this is a nice shaded trail lots of honeysuckle right here mm -hmm. but then again but like i said i just don't think they really care about this part of the park as much they don't really i imagine not yeah you could tell that if this was more yeah, because you see this block in the way. See, if I have way. a cougar with, uh, with me, this thing would be down. This thing would be down yeah. Before. But this part of the park, I, I, I would be very hard-pressed if we see anybody on this trail. I got a friend with me today. He's been in videos with me before. Yep. And uh, just an absolute gorgeous fall day. Temperature is about... About 50, 55 degrees. Uh, we'll go this way. It's a beautiful, it's, 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 it's actually a, a different trail, definitely. It's not as well maintained. Maybe a tad bit more rugged. It's not flat by any means because it, it there is a slight grade to it. Not, not very more much. More for hikers that are for more of a natural type hiking setup. Natural hiking you know, setup. More like following like um, electrical line right away. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like Got some evergreens right here, which it does list them on the brochure map. Okay. Here, evergreens. Just good knowledge for you folks here. Evergreens. Just being a pine tree, what you can do is you can scrape away the bark. To where there's this inner layer that's kind of like paper that's called cadmium, okay? That's actually edible. You can uh, fry it up and eat it kind of like potato chips, or you can grind it up and use it as an extender for your flour. You can actually make bark bread. It's actually something that's a uh, fa uh, famine food in the Nordic countries. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I'll show you how to do it, but it's, uh, it's a metro park, and I'd probably get in trouble for doing it. Uh, yes and no, but right here... Kill the tree. Yeah, it would. If you do it too much, and too much of a pack. So that's yeah. why you use it as a last resort. Yeah. Although, like I said, this part of the trail, I, I would be shocked if we see anybody back here. Because I think the only time the local hiking group, I think, would hike this would be if they kind of just, 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 if they just added on mm -hmm. to the, because the orange and the yellow trail are like it's over there. It's a trail, though. Oh, yeah, it is. You don't hear much vehicle sounds. I mean, you can Except hear the highway, way. freeway. Yeah, you're going to hear that for a good long distance. Hey, Dan, you also will hear the train, too. You might hear the train over here, maybe, because the train, well, 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 actually, we'll hear the train more in the other side of the park that we'll be on. 
but it's a nice trail. That area, I believe, is where the bow hunting is. Back that way, that's facing towards Bridgewater. Bro, this, this part of the trail, when we loop back around, we'll be closer to the river because it's right over that way. I tell you what, though, you're scaring away all the animals. Well, yeah. That's how you're walking. <laughs> Well, generally the animals are not as active right now. Yeah. They they'll they'll come out more towards sunset. You know, the only thing I don't like about this trail too is, well, you can't really see any tracks or anything with this being more of a grass trail, so you can't really see what's really back here because there's. Yeah, tracking is a little difficult. I mean, you'd have to look to scat or things of that nature. Yeah, because it's because it's small pretty bones, much a grass uh, you know, if you find and small rocks. And I guess it's bones. That's you know denotes small or possibly even larger predators. Yeah. If you got you know scat, scat, veggies in it, that's gonna be you know your prey animals. You know things of that nature. But tracking, you know, in terms of foot, uh, footprint. Yeah, right here it would be pretty tough unless it was really wet and. And this grass really came up. But the Schumard loop, it's a nice little enjoyable little loop. It's, this is my friend's first time being in this park. You know, and for those of you that are longtime viewers of my nature videos, Taylorsville is really the only park that I truly enjoy north of town. Because although I do go to Englewood sometimes, but this is the only one that's not really flat. I mean, all the other parks north of town are just too flat for my tastes, you know? You have some hills here, but there's more in the East Park, which I've got hundreds of videos of that before. Yeah, right here. That is part of the bow hunting. The tree stand, I'm trying to think where they would... Where they would set up a tree... Well, this area would probably be better for a blind right here. Yeah. I don't know where they could really... Honestly, if I'm hunting deer in this area, I'm going to use a ghillie suit. That's yeah. Like, uh, local vegetation on it. I'm going to hide probably back there. Do you right. think this is it right here, or is that... Huh? No, that's... No, no that's not... No. I'd probably hide about there under that tree. Because yeah. got a good view of that, that field right there. Yeah. And if you got a ghillie suit on with local vegetation, you're gonna blend right in. Same yeah, there, right there, yeah, there's where we pass our Bridgewater, but mm -hmm. we pass by that cell phone tower off of this. Just, but right here, I don't know. This would be. Is this? This might be it right here. I don't know. And we're on the quest for catnip, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know if that's it right there or not. It could be or it could not be. I don't see any of the white fuzz around it, so. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll look till we think we can conclusively identify it. We can always come back through later on because this is only a short loop. But, but yeah, this this right here, where, where would you set up a tree? Unless right here, nah. a tree stand. This would be... It's too visible. Yeah. The deers would notice it. This would be probably a spot you would probably have to set up a blind blind would be a good idea or a ghillie suit yeah individual. well i don't but think i don't think the metro parks that's more, you know, yeah i don't think shotguns and brush pistols. yeah i don't think the metro parks are going to allow that but no not not legally because they have bow hunting they have bow hunting and uh, and i think the gun season is bone leak to the rangers i think i never really stick to what the odnr guidelines are yeah. I ain't never had a hunt much stuff. So. <laughs> yeah. I never bothered. Yeah. Yeah, I never had an issue with it. Yeah, we're getting close to the river. I take all that I use, and I use all that I take. Yep. But yeah. this is a beautiful trail right here. It's. It is. It really is. I mean, for being in a city, this is not bad. Well, this is a city because we're right between Vandalia and Huber Heights. And it's a that's natural set of hell. What's that? Right there. See that tree that's hanging out? It's dead right there. Hanging out over the path. I wonder if that's an ash. That could be an ash tree. That, that's... If that tree right there gives, that's coming down on someone. I wonder if that's an ash I'm tree. I'm going to move that... under that real quick. I don't want to be under that. 
That, now that could be an ash right there, because as everybody knows, our ash trees have been murdered by the emerald ash boar. Yep. The ash trees have been seriously under siege. No, no, that's no. that's the leaves are too big on it. What you need to do is go back to school and get a degree in botany <laughs> and tell your professor the sole reason for becoming a botanist. It's so I can identify wildcat and my cat. <laughs> oh, I fun. mean, I mean, we'll find it. It's it's in here somewhere. I know. Yeah, the rear, yeah, the other here, the highway from here. Because now, well, right at the end of this trail, before we turn to head back, the bike path is parallel on the other on the other side of it. Because with this, with the bike path over here, there's really no way to really detour that if it's underwater without going way out of your way because it's rip rap roads under. Because the fat that's underwater, Rip Rap Road, you know, is underwater. You'd have to loop around a long way. Yeah, that yeah that that section would be a hard area to bypass. I mean, the areas north, maybe the areas, yeah, the area. Oh, there 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 is a gun range right over here. One day range and armory, but that's indoors. No, but there's one off of Poplar Creek. Oh, really? It's right. It's right, uh, yeah, hi, yeah, I certainly know where it's at. It's, it's just east of, it's just west of Rip Rap Road. It's just, yeah, it's just west of Rip There's Rap a big Road. Old animal back here. It's a big old shit. Where? Back there. Oh. There's a big pile of crap right back there. It's Maybe right, a deer. Right Maybe a deer. No, there's bones in there. Maybe a horse, maybe, unless... No, horses don't eat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is something... I, it's too big to be a feral dog. Not quite big enough to be an adult bear. Yeah, might, that's not it. I have a baby bear back here. Which is, I'm going to walk real careful with my knife ready. <laughs> it's, I've never seen a bear back here, but it... That's bear poop. <laughs> that looks like bear poop to me. You could tell there used to be a trail right over here that they closed due to potential hazards. It looks like they've pretty much let it just grow over. Yeah. Grow over. I but I've never I don't ever recall hiking this trail, so I'm not that so familiar I'm with it. What potential hazards they mean? Yeah, they've let it all grow over, so it's almost. Like I kind of want to ask uh, Ranger what kind of hazards are back there. Yeah. Because honestly, the woods ain't that dangerous. Yeah. Not this part of Ohio. No. Not compared to southeast. No, it's now that, I wonder, do you... What? I wonder if that's it right there. I don't know. No. That Romaine? So. Might be. But I don't think so. It's, with plant food, unless you can identify it positively, it's better to save the frog. Yeah, that's true, yeah. You know? Yeah. Especially if you're feeding it to a cat. Yeah. I mean, for a human, you can do the, the universal edibility test. Yeah. But with uh, cats, not so much. Oh, yeah. The <clears throat> cats, you know, have a different biology than us. Unfortunately, cats aren't hikers, otherwise we would probably have ours. But, uh, but, but even if I tried to put... Your cat. My cat would love this. I don't know if I could get JC on a leash. I can get Jason would need no leash. He could follow me. That cat follows me wherever I go. As long as you keep him away from any coities. As long as you keep him away. Now this I don't think there'd be catnip back here because this, this there's not enough coities, coyotes. Oh. Yeah, my cat would probably just run to me if there's something too large for him to mess up and let me deal with it. My, my cat probably take on a raccoon. I mean, he's been on a human before, so... Oh, JC probably would, too. She would... Asian's a tough little son of a bitch. JC's you know like... Meow! Meow! 
It's a beautiful trail. Let me know if you want some water. I will. Okay, so I got about three fourths of the team pool left. I think once we see the yeah, here we're going down a little bit of a hill right here. Yeah. Don't want to be here when it rains. Oh, there's worse hills than this. That's the stuff. Yeah, because the leaves. It's real slippery when it rains. Yeah. Walk to the face. Mark, look, it was back here at my face. Okay? Yeah. Walk like this. Yeah. You get better traction. Walk, yeah. Kind of like you're walking like a duck. Yeah. It slows you to the set more fast. Let's go up and down the hill. There's the highway, so I know we're getting ready to turn around and head back the other way on the thing. But this is a nice little loop. We've been on here about 16 minutes. We're just going at a leisurely pace, not a hectic or a brush pace mm -hmm. it's a beautiful day outside yes it is it's fall I don't know some of the leaves are, are turning colors but there still is a lot of green oh I know we've got kind of a weird fall where it's not quite cold enough to get the leaves to, turn. to, to get turned yeah but they're getting I, I think a week from now I may come back here a week from now Oh, uh, there'll still be some here. But the, they'll be turned. But the stuff along the ground will still be here. Yeah. Like this stuff? Yeah, you can see there's a lot of green that's not yet really turned over, so I can't really call this a fall color hike because it's just not enough. At least from back here. When we get in the other part of the park, that's the highway, Interstate 70. When we get... Interstate 70 is kind of annoying. It's kind of loud. Yeah. <clears throat> when we get in the other part of the park, where we have a... And Mark, get yourself underneath that uh, tree right there. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to go too far in, then we get in the bees. Yeah. Day, clear up some of that wood strip. You got yourself a little bit of a natural debris hut. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely not maintained at all. This is... No, this is, uh... Very... Maintained by people's footsteps. Yeah. It's one of those trails where it's a trail only because people walk on it. You know, I'm looking for it, but I know I have it. Because the white fuzz is more of a white fuzz. I haven't really seen it back here. But yeah, this this trail, you can tell. This trail would be lucky if it gets five people a week back here. Oh, I'm sure. You, you, I mean, you'd be hard-pressed to find anybody back on this trail because it just isn't maintained. Nice trail, though. Yeah, the shoe like mark. It. Yeah, I like it, too. It's... Wish didn't have the highway noise, but... Yes, I agree. I wonder if that's part of the trail they were referring to that's closed due to hazards. But but that might be what we... I don't think that was what we were on before. I don't know. No, we weren't. Well, then, well, 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 this area through here wouldn't flood. I mean, this would not flood right through here. No. It's high up enough. Unless, but we'll see when the Great Miami River comes into view here soon. What it's... If it gets us very low to the river. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find any... any Kitty nip back here, but I got it. Because there's did probably live on Facebook for? I don't know. We'll do about a five minute video by the river and then actually there's the river right there. I see it. Yeah. I now 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 this would flood depending on how high up enough.
Direct the river. Can I follow it? Yeah, sure. Uh, just yeah, because this is an area I've never have been on. Yeah. So this would be a good for a live feed. This looks like it's passable and it looks like somebody turned back to here at some point. We'll do a couple. I'm going to do a separate video. One for YouTube and then one for Facebook of it. Right. Hopefully we... I don't know how here good of views we're going to see. Here we are, right here at the river. Yeah. Alright, that's it for this one, YouTube.